Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm here today with the rapper Common. <laughs> I get that a lot. Do you? Yeah, but uh, <laughs> if I could rap, I wouldn't be fighting, that's for sure. <laughs> nah, just joking. I'm Naya Marcel from Iconic ITV MMA, and I'm here today with Brian Rogers, who will be fighting next week at Bellator 113. How's fight camp going? Uh, it's going great. Uh, I'm originally from Ohio, and over the last couple of years, I've come to Denver to train with my good friend Chris Camozzi off and on. He's come to Ohio, and a little while ago, I had some, uh, wasn't getting the results I wanted to in Ohio, so I decided to start training out here. So I've been out here since the middle of January, and uh, it's going well and look to make it a permanent home. Nice, nice. How is it different training here from Ohio? Well, I guess the biggest thing is the altitude. You know, you notice that uh, first and foremost, even if you're in fantastic shape, the higher elevation, you kind of feel in your lungs and whatnot. But it's a different training program at this point in my career. Um, I feel like I just needed to work on some things and get more technical and get more skilled. Like, mm -hmm. it's not a question of athletic ability or heart or anything like that, but just trying to get more technical and just be more proficient in my overall MMA game. So right. that's why I came out here, and it's, it's been a good choice. And, and the, mid, the Midwest winter has been brutal, so I've been glad I've been out oh, here. Oh, yeah. Here hasn't actually been the, no, that bad this year. No, it's not bad at all. Not bad well, at all. that's awesome. I hope that you do make this a permanent home. Colorado is one of the top places for MMA, yeah, most definitely. definitely. Now, I noticed that you posted on Facebook about your event next Friday, mm -hmm. and you had warned your fans not to get upset yeah. about your placement on this card. What can you tell your fans? What can they expect next Friday? Um, well, like, this is my, I want to say my seventh or eighth fight for Bellator, and the first time I've been on the undercard. Just the way it worked out with my schedule. Um, I'm on the undercard, but as long as I get like a quick finish, I think I'll be promoted to the TV portion or if something gets mixed around. But it's the 155 opening round tournament and also the 205-pound uh, light, light heavyweight championship. So they're big fights on the card. Right. So, you know, I need a, you know I get paid the same whether I'm on the undercard or on the main card on TV. So I'm just looking to have a good performance. So, you know, no matter who's fighting, i got to get back on TV. So I'm right. excited about that. Now, can we expect that flying knee that you're so famous for? <laughs> uh, maybe. It's not in the first round, so I don't get too tired. But, you know, it would be ideal. I'd always look to finish with it. But I think a lot of people kind of now prepare for it and worry about it. But, I mean, one of the reasons I came here is so I don't have to kind of, like, lean on that anymore or anything like that. So, got a lot more tools in the tool shed, and hopefully I'll get to pull a few out. Oh, we can't wait to see it. Yeah. Definitely. Sure. Now, let's go back a little bit. How did you get your fight name, Professional Predator? Uh, We've heard of Predator and the Predators. Yeah. But what makes you the Professional Predator? You know what? I kind of go back and forth between the Predator and Professional Predator. Uh, people kind of know me because I, I tend to, I like clothes. I'm a bit of a fashionista in that mm -hmm. regard. I, I wear suits a lot, I sport coats, things like that. So um, and just the way I carry myself with so my nutrition, my strength and conditioning program, mm -hmm. And just kind of my overall personality is kind of the professional in me. I do a little bit of commentary uh, for some shows and things like that. My, under, my undergrad is in education. I used to teach. I'm trying to finish my master's right now. So that's kind of where the, the professional predator thing kind of came in. So I kind of go back and forth. I kind of ask for each fight what they're going to use and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. It's just kind of a part of me. Well, that makes sense, definitely. And you had just brought up how you used to teach and your commentary how do you find time to train every day um i mean the reason i have a lot of different opportunities outside of mma is like you know the door becomes open because of mma but fortunately i have my education background and did a lot of things in the classroom and scholastically beforehand but you know i'm one of the guys you know i try to multitask this is the main priority i mean all those other opportunities go out the window right. as soon as you start failing in the cage so that's why i'm out here to make the most out of it you know and uh Take the ball and run with it if I can. Definitely. Now I have a fun question for you. If everyone had to wear a warning sign, what would yours say? A warning sign. Um, what would my warning sign be? Um, let's see. Um, wow. I don't know what my sign would be, but it would be something like prepare to have a good time or something like that. Awesome. Like, we're going to have a good time we go out about. Awesome. Well, everyone, prepare to have a good time at Bellator 113 next Friday. Make sure to check it out, and we can't wait to see you in that cage. Thank you. I appreciate it. You guys can uh, follow me on Twitter at BRogerThePredator. Same with Instagram. I'm bad with my Facebook, but you can hit me up on there. I don't really check it, um, but I will try to if you send me a message. Awesome. Do you have any shout-outs that you would like to do? Um, I'm going to try to remember all my sponsors here. I have a lot of good people that support me. Uh, thanks for Bellator for giving the opportunity to fight for them once again. 
um, intimidation clothing, uh, rev gear, technical equipment, um, Haas Auto Mall, uh, my tailor, uh, executive tailors, David Coutinho, her two custom suits. Um, uh, I'm going to forget people. Haas Auto Body, I said that. Crow's Auto Body. It's Haas Auto Mall is what I meant. Um, let's see. Cruise Combat for making my shorts once again. I'm going to forget somebody, but thanks to everybody in Ohio and in Colorado. Awesome. Thank you. And yes, we can't wait to see you in that cage next week. Everyone stay tuned. Oh, 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 oh,